extraterrestrials are among us, bugs or demons, and people are losing their goddamn mind. <laughs> That's the video title today. So, I've been doing a lot of, I guess, which the ordinary person would call soul, soul searching. I would call it shadow work. <clears throat> Meditation. Um, energy healing. With crystals. You know, just getting everything balanced. <clears throat> Physically. You know, like diet was um mentally just clearing all of the clutter out my mind and just cutting off every single person that basically just wasn't what's the word i guess elevating me you know what i'm saying um but anyways enough about me you guys want to hear obviously about the title so that's what i'm about to get into I hope I have enough space. If I don't, this will just be a part one. And then I'll just make an even longer part two. I'll clear up some space on my phone real quick. I might have forgot to do that. But yeah, let's get into the first topic. Extraterrestrials, when I, the, what I mean by extraterrestrials are among us. We have extraterrestrials, yes, of course, that are among us on the surface, just like the Day Live movie. We have interdimensional beings, so there's ETs that are extraterrestrials, which are outer, you know what I'm saying? And we have interdimensional, which are inner, so there's beings interdimensionally, like they're, they're on different planes, basically. You can't see them because they're on a, on a plane that you can't see, but they're still here, like among us. And <clears throat> I really want to get into the interdimensional beings, because the interdimensional beings are basically the beings that interfere with your subconscious and that the ones that you see in your dreams you know what i'm saying like i know a lot of people be like oh who are these people i'm seeing in my dreams like i don't even recognize some of the people that i see in my dreams yeah it's because those are interdimensional beings interdimensional beings are who spiritual youtubers or you know the new the, the spiritual movement the new age movement or wh which whoever witches warlocks they use these interdimensional beings in tarot cards or um astrology you know what i'm saying or you just like they're used in metaphysics you know what i'm saying because like that's what they are like like how people hold ghost and shit like ghosts are interdimensional beings <clears throat> extraterrestrial beings are interdimensional beings as well but you're thinking about it on a different level now. See, extraterrestrial beings, they call it that on the surface level because they come from other planets. But technically, they're interdimensional beings too. Because nothing is outside of this right here, this reality. Right? So, if that's the case, if nothing's outside of this, yeah, they're interdimensional beings as well. <clears throat> so, yeah, people... When people make videos like this, people always wonder, like, oh, what's the importance of these videos? Like, what is the importance of these? What is the importance of learning? Okay, so I get it. Like, you guys are just like, oh, what are we going to do with the knowledge that you're giving us? Well, guess what? Did you know that... Did you Have you ever heard of the quote, I think, therefore, I am, by Socrates? You know what that means? Uh, huh. when you think something it becomes reality right so if you think something and it becomes reality that means that this is all your mind all of this is governing governing around you you know what i'm saying you are your higher self you know what i'm saying the god that you guys be trying to pray to i don't know what the hell you guys need to be <laughs> i mean think about it this way the god the like when people will go through like good things or like just extor extraordinary things in life they would be like oh it's god did this for me and this it was the it was the most high it was your higher self the higher self the most high is the highest version of yourself you have to remember that 
So whenever something happens to you in your life, whether it be good or bad, you got to realize that it all happens for a reason. Yes, I know you hear this every day, but yes, it's true. Every single thing happens for a reason. You wouldn't be hearing that quote so many times in your life if it didn't bear any sort of weight. All right, so let's get into the nut. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> let's get into the